Everybody. Welcome to another edition of James Jam. I'm Jane. This is my jam. Holding on to a bag here, holding on a tape measure here. That means it's review time. And I wanted to do a review of this right now because I know some of them are on sale. And um, I may or may not have one coming in the mail. But, um, hmm. and I'm going to say right off the bat, we can all blame Yoda from Yoda style for this. Just saying, it's her fault. Well, she's already on the list. Uh, yep, so. she should be on it twice. Um, everything started with this. My sweet little purse pals um, got me this for my birthday. This quilted coach with the lips on it, just a little zippy wallet, opens up inside. And um, I got this and there's something, this is so weird. I like to touch everything. You can ask my husband, you can ask my kids. Anywhere we go, I reach out and touch everything. If I'm walking through the forest or whatever, I gotta feel the trees. If I see something in a, a building, even paintings, you probably shouldn't touch them, but even if I'm like a buy a, in a museum and I can touch the painting, I will touch the painting. Just have a thing about wanting to feel the textures of things. And it's not even always, I'm not always conscious I do it. I just am kind of drawn to do it. Well, there is something about the way this leather feels that just gives me all the feels. I just absolutely love it. And so after I got this and couldn't stop touching it, I knew I had to get one of these bags. I had to. I have never had a reaction like this to like a leather ever. And I have like tons of leather bags. Even my other coach bags don't feel like this, but there's something about this leather. I don't know if it's because of how they put it together and quilted it or what it was, but I knew that I had to get one of the bags. So not too long ago, I unboxed this. This is the coach, I believe it's the Tabby 20. And this is an all black. You can also buy it um, black with a, the gold hardware. Mine is just the all black hardware, which I really like. As you can see by looking around, I am not a black bag girl. I have, okay, my two Chanel black bags. I guess you could say my largest bag is black, but really it's only just partially black. I have one little, um, oh, why can't I think of the name of this? Um, Fuzzy Pumper? No, this velvet bag is from... Um, the Velveteen Rabbit? Oh, no. Aspinall of London. Oh, um, Aspinall. But, yeah, I just... Wait and off. then I bought the other coach bag not too long ago. But... Uh, and I just love how this one feels as well. I don't know what it is. This leather is like no other leather that I've ever felt. And I'm normally not a small bag girl. I like my totes. I'm not a never full girl, but I like to carry a lot of stuff with me. But just recent, I've been using this kind of in and out the house here and there when I have quick things to do. But this week I went shopping in an antique mall. And so I wanted something that I could cross body. And, um, and then I ran and got my hair done. And so this bag has just been the bag. And oh my gosh, do I love this bag. Um... First off, it's got the back pocket back here. And you actually could fit a phone in here. Now, if your phone has a phone case that's like um, an OtterBox, you might not be able to get it in, um, but or without some movement, but otherwise that'll it'll go in. So you can put your phone back there. But here's what I love. At first I opened it up and I'm like, um, you know, there's two compartments here, which is nice, but I'm like, okay, um, where are the card slots? To me, this is like a wallet on chain. Where are the card slots? There aren't any. But who cares? Oh my gosh. So I went to my main purse and I pulled this out. This is my little catch-all. In here I have all the um, cards that I have, either credit cards or like, um, you know, stamp cards from a quilt store. Everything like that in here. And all I had to do, I'm thinking I'm going to have to take a few one, few out and stick them in here. No, I just shove this whole thing in here and it fits perfect. 
Now, another thing I had in here, but I left downstairs, was my hand sanitizer. I have a little bottle of hand sanitizer. If you're going to an antique mall or thrift shopping, you know that a lot of times you want a hand sanitizer with you. So that was in here. The front part here, I put my change purse. Lots of change in here, but if you go to antique malls, like they do around here, they always have tons of little snacks and stuff you can purchase, and they're usually dirt cheap and only need change. So I knew that I needed this with me. Change so I, is inevitable. So I, so I shoved it in here along with some folded up cash. So even if I wouldn't have been able to fit my phone back there, I still would have been able to fit it inside here. Then... I love this part, the little flat part. You forget about this, right? No, don't. Because in here, you can put your receipts and you can put your driver's license, as mine's in here, and credit cards. And they're all tucked away. So even if your purse flapped open, no one's going to see that because it's underneath here. And I am telling you, this bag is phenomenal. It's got just a little snap closure. It just pops open here like that. And otherwise, it, it's snaps up this thing is awesome and oh my gosh does it feel awesome so i'd say this is pretty full right now you can even see the card case hanging out there but i would highly highly recommend this i do not remember the last time that i got a coach bag and just would highly highly recommend it i mean i buy contemporary and luxury and I've, I have some nice coach bags that I enjoy, that I do. I really like them. But I have never been so excited about a coach bag in my life as this one. And just to give a little bit more details on this, just to give you an idea, um, you kind of get an idea of what fits because I showed what was already in there. But um, it is, let's see, about eight and a half inches long. It is. I like I like measuring from the back. I just think it's easier. Um, what would you say? About four and a half inches that way. And then here at the... I like to measure in the middle here because usually they get smaller as they go up. This kind of is an average. About three inches across there. But this is awesome. Even if you had like a small wallet. Let me just grab like... A small wallet. Now, I had a key fob with me. I normally keep my keys in a six ring key, key, key holder, but when I'm using our family car, I don't use that. So the key fob fit in here as well. But you could just about, well, let's shove it in here. Say you had a wallet you wanted to throw in here. I'm just going to shove her in here. It snaps. A little fuller, definitely. But look at this. It's got a catch-all, a wallet, a change purse, cash. You could fit a key fob in here. You could fit your hand sanitizer in here. You could put your phone in the back pocket here. I cannot think of the last time that I said that I highly, highly recommend a bag. And um, I do this. I do. I from Coach, you mean? From Co well, espe well, especially from Coach. I really like a lot of my bags, and like I know I did Celine lately, and for luxury bags, yeah, I would say Celine is a great bag. But um, wow, for the money, there are no pop stitches in here. There is. It's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful bag. And the reason I'm the reason I'm saying something here too is just because. Um, I know a lot of the bags are on sale right now. Um, if you go to coach.com, they're having sales. Um, I think Bloomingdale's have some on sale. Um, Macy's, I know, have some on sale. I bought mine from Macy's. Uh, if you do Rakuten, you can get a cash back um, with that. And um, and some of their, even some of the wallets are on sale, not this one. But um, I don't think they sell that one anymore. But yeah. If you are on the fence and you think you want to dip your toe in luxury, you don't want to spend a thousand dollars though. Um, some of the like some of the twenties they have for uh, like in the two hundreds. Um, the there's even some of the twenty sixes. I think it's like the beige colored one that is on sale for four hundred. Is or is it the even there's one size bigger? It might be four hundred. But yeah, there's tons of deals out there. So I just wanted to get this out there in case you were thinking about something like that. Um, 
that's what I have for you today in regards to that bag. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the question box down below. I'd love to interact with everybody, and I do answer all the comments that I get or I respond to them. If you haven't already found me, you can find me over on Instagram. I'm there at James Jam as well. It's J-A-M-E underscore S underscore Jam. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. <laughs> Trying so hard to get to 2,000 subscribers. I think I'm right around 1,700. So I know it's going to be a big push for those last 300, but we can do it. We can do it. I know some of you watch me and don't hit subscribe. So I'd really like it if you did. And um, you can hit the bell notification. I'll let you know every time I put out a video. Usually put them out on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And until next time, please do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Adios, muchachas.